All right, the countdown is now back on at the Cape. Weather is now a go for launch for the Atlas V rocket with two payloads for the U.S. Space Force. It is now targeting 715, just a little over a minute from now. We'll bring it to you when it happens. Weather canceled last night's attempt. The rocket was supposed to go off at 6 tonight, but they have until 8 tonight for liftoff. Fear of rough weather is why Kennedy Space Center teams have slightly pushed back the planned rollback of the SLS Mega Moon rocket. That slow crawl was originally due to start at 6 tonight as well. Instead, it will start at 11 now and should wrap up around 6 tomorrow morning. Once inside the VAB, NASA teams will replace a seal that leaked during this month's wet dress rehearsal. After that's done, the SLS will roll back out for launch sometime in August. We don't yet have a target date for the Artemis 1 test flight. All right, but right now, as we mentioned, the countdown is on for this ULA launch, that Atlas V. Uh-oh, did we just get a hold on it? No, we're hearing go, so we're under 30 seconds now. T-minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, we have engine ignition and liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket carrying USSF-12 for the United States Space Force. Pitch over the program, body range look good. NPU's gone to closed loop. System response looks good. Now 20 seconds into flight. Atlas is now completing the pitch over maneuver, body range continues. RD-180 is throttled down slightly to partial thrust. Response looks good. Now 36 seconds into flight. Atlas V is now passing Mach 1. RD-180 continue to look good in partial thrust mode. See good chamber pressures on all SRBs. And at 49 seconds into flight, max Q, maximum dynamic pressure. RD-180 engine operating parameters continue to look good. SRV chamber pressures also look good, now passing one minute into flight. RD-180 now throttling back up to full thrust as expected. Chamber pressures on the SRVs continue to look good. RD-180 engine operating parameters also look good. Now one minute, 23 seconds into flight, approximately three minutes now remaining in the boost phase of flight. And at this point in the flight, Atlas V now weighs just one half of its liftoff weight. And see SRB chamber pressure is tailing off now. And we have SRB burnout. One minute, 45 seconds into flight. RD-180 engine operating parameters continue to look good. And we have jettison of all four solid rocket boosters. Well, that looked like a picture-perfect mm -hmm. launch. They were trying to get it off at 6 o'clock today and yesterday. That's but right. they had until 8 o'clock to try this. And at 7.15, it looked like everything cleared up, and away it went.